A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Adoloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Sam on the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. For our meditation and discussion, I'd like us to look again at the book of Revelation, chapter 5, and verse number 12. The Bible says, the saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. I'd like us to look at the first three things in this redemption package and how it affects and relates to us in life and in destiny. The number one thing that we received in this package is power. Power is needed to move. Power is the ability to do work, the ability to move from place to place. That is power. Power. Power is needed for you to move, for mobility, to move from one place to another. Power is needed for you to work. Work is what you must do to be able to receive riches, to be able to get wealth. And do not forget, power is needed for riches. For wealth. The first thing in the power dimension is the power to become the Son of God. As many as received Jesus, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. You also need power to overcome this world, to overcome the forces of darkness and the enemies, to overcome sin, to overcome Satan, to overcome sickness. You need the power of God. You also need power to get wealth. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, the Bible says, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. So the Lord gives you power. And the purpose of this power is so you might be able to walk, so you might be able to move, to walk, and then to become the thing, the man, the woman that God has destined you to be. You need this power. God releases this power to you so you can get wealth. This power is the enablement to get, enablement to attract riches into your life, to attract wealth. You get wealth only by the power of God. So this power enables you to walk and get riches, get blessings, get wealth. Any wealth or riches that does not include work is a ruse. It is a fake wealth, fake riches, and it is not going to last forever. If a man makes riches, if a man becomes rich without working, the riches, the wealth so earned or so gained will disappear without trace. So wealth comes by work. It is work that determines your worth. So you have to work. And so God gives you power to work. He gives you power to labor and then power to get. He gives you strength. He enables you to work with your hands. And don't forget, God detests laziness. The Bible says you must not be slothful in business. You must be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. So God gives you power to work. And then this work now hands you riches and wealth, which is the second in this package. Riches, a product of your work, a product of your worth. It is your work that determines your worth. And this riches, the riches you have, is commensurate to the level of strength or power that is available to you. Wealth and riches follow the work that you do by the power of God that is available to you. For wealth and riches, they follow the gift of God on your inside. They follow the problems you solve. If you solve problems for your generation, wealth and riches will come to you. If you provide works and services for your generation, wealth and riches will locate you. If you uh, you have something to offer your generation, wealth and riches, they come to you. So God gives you power to be able to know what to offer your generation, to be able to solve problems for your generation, to work and then have riches. This is the sequence. Uh, This is the, the way God has ordained and designed it. The wealth that will last, the riches that will last, the one that does not add any sorrow to it is the one that flows from God. And it doesn't just come in vacuum. It comes with work, with something in your hand. What do you have in your house? What is that in your hand? What is your dream? 
What is your vision? What are the talents that you can trade? So these are the things that attract this wealth. Now, number three, God now gives you wisdom. Now you have riches, but you need wisdom to manage both the power and the riches that God has given to you. If you have wealth, if you have power, you have riches, but you lack wisdom, the wealth will disappear with, within a jiffy. If you have power without wisdom, that same power is what will destroy you. Power without wisdom has destroyed the powerful. Wealth without wisdom has destroyed the wealthy. So your wealth must be with wisdom. It is wisdom that enables you to properly manage the power and the riches that God has given to you. You need the wisdom of God to be able to make these riches, to be able to, to manage these riches, to be able to multiply these riches. That is what multiplies and retain blessings in the life of a man. If a man has wealth, but he does not know how to manage it, then the wealth will disappear in his hand. If a man has wealth and he knows how to manage it, but he does not know how to multiply it, it will also soon disappear. It is actually not possible for you to know how to manage riches or wealth and not multiply it. So it is a grace that God gives to make riches, to make wealth, to manage wealth, and to multiply wealth. So God is giving you the wisdom. He has given it to you. That wisdom is in the redemption package. You have the wisdom. You have the power to make wealth, to make riches. Now that you have made the riches, you have the wisdom. You have the, the knowledge, the understanding uh, to manage it, to manage it well, not to squander it. The prodigal son got riches, he got wealth, but he didn't have the wisdom to manage it. Let's not talk about how he got it. But all that mattered was he didn't have the wisdom to manage it, so he lost it. Jacob, on the other hand, received wisdom and grace and strength to attract riches and wealth. He attracted the wealth, he was able to manage the wealth, and he multiplied the wealth. You must be able to receive the grace, you must be able to make, to manage, and to multiply wealth or riches or resources. And these are the things, the first three that God has given to you. He gave you power, gave you riches, and wisdom to manage the power and the riches that he has given unto you. It is the proper application of this power and this and these riches by the wisdom of God that will bring you to strength, to honor, to glory, and that will make you a blessing to others. God promised Abraham, I am going to bless you and you will be a blessing. And so don't forget, God has given you power, he has given you riches, and he has given you wisdom to be able to manage the power, to be able to manage the riches. And the proper management of these riches brought it multiplication. And the multiply riches has given you financial strength. And you are financial, you have mental, you have emotional, you have spiritual strength. And then you become a blessing to, to others. And this is what will bring you into honor and into glory. A man that will come to honor and to glory must have something to offer his generation. If you have nothing to offer your generation, who will give you honor? Where will you see honor? Where will you see glory? If you have nothing to offer your generation, if you are a problem to your generation, to your society, and not a solution, how will you enter into glory? Who will give you honor? God wants you to be a solution to the problem of your environment and not part of the problem. I charge you this morning not to be a problem to your family, not to be a problem to your environment, not to be a problem to your church, not to be a problem to your place of business or where you live, but to be a solution to the problems around you. Have something to offer. Deploy your gift and talent to solve the problems of your environment. And this will bring you to honor and will bring you to glory. It is my prayer that the Lord will cause you to be ushered into the realm of honor and glory by reason of the proper application by wisdom of the power and the riches that God will give to you. It is my prayer that you will have the, the wisdom to manage and to multiply the riches that come to you in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice and receive power to make wealth, power to get riches, power to take your portion of the blessings of the earth. Father, I receive the power 
to get wealth. It is you who gives power to get wealth. I receive that power. I receive that power in the name of Jesus. Power for riches. I receive riches. My work will produce riches for me. My work will produce results in my hands. My work will brought, bring me into prosperity in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. I'd like you to receive the wisdom. The wisdom to make wealth. The wisdom to manage wealth. To manage resources and to multiply your resources. Receive that wisdom now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the wisdom through Christ Jesus our Lord. Wisdom to make wealth, to make money, to make riches. Wisdom uh, to manage riches, to manage wealth, to manage resources. I receive the wisdom to multiply riches, to multiply wealth, to multiply resources. So I receive the wisdom to make, to manage, and to multiply resources. That resources will not dwindle or diminish in my hands. That my things will not reduce, but increase and multiply to the praise of the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. I'd like you to begin to receive the grace to be a blessing to people around you. Father, make me a blessing to everyone around me, my family, my church, my nation, my generation. Make me a blessing. You promised Abraham, I will bless you. You will be a blessing. I pray, O oh God, make me a blessing to my generation, a blessing to people around me in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray and ask that God will bring you to honor and to glory. Father, I ask that you will bring me to honor and to glory by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Bring me to honor, O God. Bring me to glory, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I pray that the Lord God of heaven will give to you power, power to get wealth, power to succeed, to excel, to make it, power in the name of Jesus. God will give you that power. And I pray the name of Jesus for riches. You will make wealth. You will make riches and the wisdom to make, to manage and multiply resources. I ask that heaven will release it upon you. I pray for the grace to be a blessing to people around you, a blessing to your family, to your church, a blessing to your generation. I pray that the Lord will release this grace upon you. Everything you need to be a blessing, the Lord will give to you. You will be a solution to the problems of your nation, the problem of your family, the problem of your environment, the problems of your generation. You will not be a problem to people around you. You will be a solution to their problems and you will be a blessing. I pray you'll be a blessing to people and God's name will be glorified. You will be ushered into honor and into glory to the praise of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I invite my esteemed listener to join us this evening, 5.30 p.m. for our in-depth and analytical teaching of God's Word, our Bible study. We call it Ezra Project, 5.30 p.m. at the Light Cathedral. You may wish to join this Bible study on any of our social media platforms, on Facebook at LICCNG1, on Twitter at LICCNG, and on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle is at Yemi Graceman. Forward this message and share the link with your contacts until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program. I am Yemi Graceman at Duluji, wishing you a very glorious day and the Lord bless you.